Serious Bible Adventures! Ah, Christmas! The most wonderful time of the year. A time to make merry with the best things in life. Family and friends, food and festivities. But wait, there's an even bigger reason to celebrate. <laughs> Be careful, Kaito! I'm always careful. Well, maybe not always. Are you okay? I'm okay. What's this, Talia? My mommy wants me to fill it up with toys to give away. <gasps> this whole box! And that one too! But you won't have anything left to play with! That's what I said! What are you going to do? I know! Let's ask Abba! Hello Abba! Hello, Hello Abba. Abba! My mommy wants me to give away some of my toys, even the ones I really, really, really like. I don't see why I should have to. Can you help me see why? Or even better, please change your mind so I get to keep them. Amen. 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 I hear footsteps. Quick, back to your positions. Talia, are you done packing? The delivery man is here. Talia, we talked about this. I know, mommy, but I thought you might change your <laughs> mind. How considerate. But I haven't. Sweetie, do you know why we celebrate Christmas? Anyone? Because of Santa? No. We celebrate Christmas because on Christmas Day, God gave us the very best gift. And it was something, or should I say, someone who was very special to him. Do you know who that is? Baby, Baby Jesus. Jesus! That's right. I'm going to tell you the story of the very first Christmas. But first, we're going to the very beginning in the Garden of Eden. Eden was the land where Adam and Eve took a stand. Eden was the land where Adam and Eve took a stand. Amazing? So amazing! But if Jesus lived in heaven, then how did he get here? Well, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit a young woman named Mary who lived in Nazareth. Angel Gabriel appeared to her and said, Hey Mary, don't be scared. You found favor with God. Gonna have a son who's going to save us all. She didn't know 
Yes, he was. God's gift came to us in humble wrappings, and God was so pleased he wanted everyone to know. Just outside of Bethlehem, an angel fast appeared to shepherds and their herd. Good news he gladly shared. The Savior you seek is here, asleep in a manger there. And as he spoke, the sky awoke Angels singing glory, glory Shepherds saying hurry, hurry Baby Jesus is born They shared the news to all the saw And all who heard were filled with awe The Savior's birth brought so much joy They shared the news to all they saw And all who heard were filled with Savior's birth brought so much joy When Jesus was born, God placed the start to were done So three wise men from the east they rode With great gifts to behold They worshipped baby Jesus See, sometimes the best gifts are the hardest to give. But if it blesses someone, then it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Mommy, and thank you, Abba. Now I know what I have to do. I love my toys, but I love people more. And I want them to be as happy as I am when I play with my toys. Everybody, let's fill these boxes up. Yay! And so Talia found her Christmas spirit and learned the importance of giving.
It's the first day of school. Talia and her friends are catching up and making plans for some fresh orange juice after school. Little do they know that it will come with a refreshing lesson on the side. I see Maya. Hi, Maya. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Talia. Wow, so pretty. Can I try it on? Me too, me too. No, my mommy bought it for me and me alone. That's not fair. Sorry, it's special. See you later. Kaito, are you coming to Talia's house after school? Our grandpa is making a special fresh orange juice. I can't. My dad's taking Sinov's and I to see your movie. Okay, we'll see you next week. Great curry day for me. Bye. 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 Okay, bye. Hi, kiddos. Hi, grandpa. Is it juice time? Almost. I just need Maya and Nato to help me pick some oranges from the garden. Maya, you might want to take that off so it doesn't get caught in the branches. Okay, Grandpa. Hi, I'm Maya. Hi, hi. Okay, my turn. Nato and I will take these to the kitchen. Why don't you wash up and get Mimi and Talia? Okay, Grandpa. That's enough, Mimi. It's my turn now. I'm not done. My wristband! No! Oh no, Maya! What are we going to do? We have to ask Abba. Hello, Hello Abba. Abba. Abba, we did something bad. We cut my special wristband and now we don't know what to do. She'll never forgive us. We didn't mean to do it. Abba, please help us fix this. Amen. Amen. Hey, kiddos. Hey, hey Grandpa. Grandpa. Maya told me what happened. We didn't mean to. I know. Maya, why don't you join us? I want to tell you all a story. Now, Maya, I know this may feel too big for you to forgive, so I want to tell you the story of Joseph. Long ago in Canaan lived Joseph Jacob's favorite With his coat of colors and ten envious brothers He said, I had a dream, your bundles bowed to me They finally had enough of it and sold him into slavery Oh Joseph, oh dreamer Joseph Sold into slavery by his very family Oh Joseph, oh dreamer Joseph Who could believe he would forgive a sinner's grave brothers would do that. Sometimes people do things they regret. What happened next, Grandpa? The Lord remained with Joseph and all he did succeeded. Still he went to prison when Potiphar's wife accused him. He solved the dreams of prisoners. Pharaoh's baker and copyra, the copyra soon forgot his deed till one day Pharaoh dreamed. Oh, Joseph, oh, dreamer Joseph, so Seven years of plenty and seven years of starving. So Pharaoh placed Joseph in charge of food supply. The famine finally came and so did Joseph's brothers. They knew not of his fame to test their hearts. He hid his name. Bring Benjamin if you're true as you claim. Sabian will remain until you come again. Oh, Joseph. Oh, dream of Joseph. So How could they? The Joseph they knew was supposed to be a slave, not a man with the power to decide if they ate or not. That's tough. If they were my brothers, I'll be very angry, but I wouldn't want them to be hungry. Me either. I wonder what Jacob said when they returned without Simeon. Jacob had no choice as the famine grew worse. To Egypt they returned with Benjamin his son. A final test remained, Benjamin was detained. Judah selfless and brave would take his place as slave. Moved by the heart so changed and true, Joseph revealed himself through and through. Forgiveness he gave for the past mistakes Knowing God was behind every heartache To 
Egypt, he sent for Jacob and his clan. In sweet Goshen, their new life began. Reunited, father and son, brother and brother, forgiveness won. Oh, Joseph, oh, dream of Joseph, so into slavery. It's a special kind of person to forgive when someone hurts them. Maya, do you think you can be like Joseph and forgive Mimi and Talia? I sure can. We're so sorry. We just wanted to try it on. Please forgive us. It's okay. I forgive you. And now we have enough beasts to make mini response for each of us. Thank you, Grandpa, and thank you, Abba. Group hug. Forgiveness tries to keep us apart I remember Joseph still And how he let love prevail Cause people like me make mistakes So I'll sing covers and breaks When the pain tries to divide I'll let forgiveness abide And he that it's best to lead with love and forgive her cousins, bringing them closer than ever. Every summer holiday, Talia and her friends take a long break from school and later come together for Bible camp. They learn lessons from the Bible as their teacher speaks, but this summer's lesson might just be special. Oh boy! I wonder what's for lunch today. Lunch? Kaito, we had breakfast only a little while ago. Yes, and those pancakes were yummy. I got extra milk too. While Miss Ama is gone, I think we should look at pictures from the book. What do you say? Yes, that's a great idea. Hey, what's going on over there? Let's go check it out. And what did you say your name was? My name is Chinua. Okay, Chinua, why are you in that chair? Have you not learned how to walk yet? I learned to walk before I was one. I could teach you. Why are you crying? I just want to know. What should we do, Kaito? I don't know. Should we call on Abba and ask him to help? Okay. Hello, Abba. Hello, Abba. Abba, the other kids in our group are being mean to Chinua. We want them to stop, but we don't know the right way to do that without getting in trouble ourselves. Please help us, and please help Chinua too. Amen. All right, Group Red Campers, our little break is over. Gather round and please take your seats. Welcome back, Campers. Thank, Thank you, Miss Alma. Alma. So I want you all to take a look at your workbooks. What is our next lesson titled? Loving, Loving your neighbor as yourself. yourself. Again. What is our next lesson called, Children of God? Loving Love your neighbor as yourself. yourself. That's right. Now, I'll be teaching from the Bible, the story of the Good Samaritan. What did I call it? The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan. <laughs> okay, take it after me. The Good. The Good. Sama. Sama. Ritan. Ritan. Okay, one more time. The Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan! In a land not far away, a traveler walked alone one day. He stumbled on a rocky road, attacked by thieves, left bruised and cold. A traveler never heard a fly, a very kind man was he. So for him to be left to die would be very sad indeed. Oh, Miss Amma, how I wish I was there with the traveler so I could give him 
him a big hug and my big blue cardigan so he wouldn't be cold and my mommy's first aid box let's continue with the story and see if he was blessed with caring friends such as you both the first passerby a priest so wise saw the wounded man with tearful eyes but he passed by on the other side leaving the traveler's fate to hide oh no how could he next came a levite devout and true he saw the man and knew what to do but he too walked on his way leaving the traveler's pain their break now. Would you like to go play with them? Yes, yes Miss Ama! Okay, but before we go, can someone tell me what we've learned from this story? Yes, dear. Go on. I learned that God wants us to show love to people and be kind and respectful to them, whether they're our friends or not. Good. Now, kids, you're free to go. Guys, Tanya and I just learned a lesson about showing love to people around us. Yes! We asked Abba to help us and help a new kid called Chinua because the other kids were being mean to him. Now we know the right thing to do. Hmm. Tell us more about Chinua. I have an even better idea. Why don't we all go over and make friends with him and he can tell us about himself. That's a great idea. Hi, Chinua. Chinua, my name is Talia. These are my friends and cousins. And we have something to say to you. In Bible camp, we found a friend. Our hearts are warm. We now extend. Tinua, dear, we're here to say. You're special to us every day. Talia and her friends for every child attending Bible camp for the first time. Are you ready? Yes, yes Miss Ama! Bible camp, found a friend, our hearts are warm, we now extend, my dear friend, we're here to say, you're special to us. And so Talia and her friends learned to show love to everyone around them, just like the Good Samaritan. It's Kuride's birthday, and for Talia and her friends, this means games, a bouncy castle, and all the sugar in the world. <laughs> but when this sweet day turns out, they learn a truly invaluable lesson. And it's huge! Why don't you give Korede his present first? And say hi to your friends. Okay, Daddy. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Tanya. Tanya. Happy birthday, Korede. I got you a watercolor set with 100 colors. Wow, I love it. Thanks, Talia. Okay, guys. Now that everyone's here, it's mission time. Mission, mission time? time? Yes. We have only one mission today. Operation Sugar Rush. Oh! 
Birthdays are the one time where we get to eat all the sugar we want. So we have to make today count. Now, the parents will be guarding the birthday cake all day. So instead of cake, we're going for the cookies. I love cookies. If we start now, we can eat up to five cookies. Five whole cookies? My mommy and daddy said she loves and I can only have one each. Taking one will be wrong. Mine said the same thing, but not today. Talia's dad is on cookie duty. Let's go grab one and take more when he's not looking. Okay, but after that, can we play in the bouncy castle? Sure. We'll have more energy too. I still think this is wrong. Daddy, can we please have some cookies? Of course, princess, but only one each. You know the rules. Okay, daddy. I don't feel so good. I told you not to eat that many cookies. Let's go off before we throw up. It feels like my tummy is still in there. He will tell my daddy. He'll scold us. But we need help. Abba can help. That's true. Hey, Abba. We really need you. We ate too many cookies. Way too many. And our tummies won't stop hurting. We can't even enjoy Corridor's party anymore. Please, Abba, help us feel better. Amen. Amen. There you are. Who wants cake? Hmm. What do we have here? Looks like you've all been eating a lot of cookies. And now let me guess. Your tummy's hurt. You know, my best remedy for a sugar rush is water and time. Here, drink this, and I'll tell you a story to pass the time. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Thanks Uncle. Uncle. Now there once was a big fish, a whale, who had some pretty serious tummy issues too. For three days, and all because of disobedience. Really? What did the whale do? Well, it wasn't the whale who disobeyed. It was a prophet named Jonah. This is a tale of Jonah, a prophet brave and bold. God sent him down to Nineveh, his message of repentance to be told. But oh, disobedient Jonah, he turned from God, ignored his voice. Jumped on a ship to Tashish, he went, ignored God's word, his heart without repent. Jonah, Jonah, why won't you do as I say? Jonah, Jonah, disobey and you will pay. Jonah, Jonah, hear me speak my word fulfill. Jonah, Jonah, repent now, obey my will. But why wouldn't Jonah want to warn them? You see, Nineveh and Israel were enemies. And since Jonah was from Israel, he didn't care if God destroyed Nineveh. In fact, he was so at peace with the idea of them being destroyed that he went right to sleep. The seas took a stormy turn, a God sent wind woven and spun while Jonah slept. All aboard wept, they prayed and begged, may God overturn to find the one they cast. Lots, Jonah was found behind a storm. To them he said, this is my sin, to calm the storm, you must throw me in. Jonah, Jonah, why won't you do as I say? Jonah, Jonah, disobey and you will pay. Jonah, Jonah, you me speak my word fulfill. Jonah, Jonah, repent now will be my way. Oh, I hope they wouldn't throw him in. They didn't have a choice. They knew Jonah couldn't hide from God and throwing him was the only way to save themselves. Poor Jonah, what happened next? A great big fish, a wondrous sight, swallowed Jonah without a fight. For three long days and three long nights, Jonah prayed, seeking God's might. God's mercy flowed, the fish let go, a dry land Jonah, free from woe. To Nineveh, a land of sin, proclaiming doom to all within. Nineveh, Nineveh, why are you living this way? 
Nineveh heard God's word, turned from their ways, fasted and prayed. God saw their hearts, His mercy stirred, forgave their sin, the city spared. Juna, Juna, now that you've done as I said. Juna, Juna, Nineveh will no longer pay. Juna, Juna, let me speak my word fulfill. Juna, Juna, keep on obeying my will. Keep on obeying my will. Sometimes we disobey instructions because the temptation is just too sweet to resist. Even God's prophets couldn't resist letting Nineveh get punished. But remember, when you disobey, there's always a price to pay. Thank you, Daddy, and thank you, Abba. We feel so much better. Now we can play in the bouncy castle. I'm glad to hear that. But please, no rough play in there, okay? Okay! Obedience is our joyful choice God leading with His loving voice We'll listen to our parents' guide And by our teachers' rules abide No longer will we disobey Now we know there's a price to pay We'll try to do And so Talia and her friends learned to always obey instructions from God and their parents too. It's a pleasant weekend in Serenity Hills and Talia's family has come together for a reunion. This means that the cousins get to have a fun sleepover as always. This time with a sprinkle of much needed lessons. This was the best day ever! Yeah, it was better because I finished brushing my teeth first and I jumped on my bed first too. But Mimi, don't you know that it's not very good to rush while brushing your teeth? Oops, mm, somebody's sleepy. No, I'm a big boy. Tell them, Mimi. I can stay up. Our mommy and daddy always make me go to sleep by 8 o'clock, but I can stay up like a big boy if I try. Yes, you can, but we'll all have to go to sleep soon anyway. What's your bedtime around here, Talia? My bedtime is 8.30 sharp, every night. Hi, my loves. Hi, hi, hi Auntie. Mommy. Did you all have a great time today? Yes, yes Auntie. Auntie. I sure did. I love this, Mommy. Family is a blessing from God, don't you think? I sure do. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody is ready to sleep. Would you like me to sing you all a good night song? I'd love that, Auntie. But I don't want to go to sleep just yet. Me neither. Mm, me too. Okay then, I'll sing you all a lullaby. But you get to have the lights on till 9 o'clock today. I can't come back because I need to put Enchido to bed. But your big cousin Susie will come turn the lights out when it's time. What do you say? Thanks, Mommy. Thank, Thank you, Auntie. Auntie. Sleep, my loves, with hearts so light Grateful for this family night Cause blessings on us, like stars above Sleep now wrapped in family love. In your dreams, let gratitude bloom Our hearts connected in every room For family's warmth, for love's embrace We give God thanks for Good night, kids. Good night, Mommy Good night, and Auntie. Auntie. Girls, can I tell you something? I can only say it now because Neto is asleep. Sure, Mimi. I'm scared of the dark. <gasps> Me too. I am too. And Susie will come to turn out the lights any second. I'm not asleep yet. Oh, Neto. Why? I'm scared of 9 o'clock because of the lights. You know what we could do? Guys, let's call Abba. Yes. yes. Dear Abba, we're scared. We know we shouldn't be afraid because we're big girls. 
Prince and the Big Boy. But we can't help feeling scared of how dark it will be when Cousin Susie comes to turn out the lights. Please help us not be afraid anymore and help us go to sleep soon. Amen! Good night, my little angel. Good night, Good night Susie! Oh my, are you all scared of the dark? May I tell you a Bible story or two that could help? Yes! Okay, pay good attention. I will tell you of a dark night like this one. A night when Jesus saved his disciples from fear. In a boat upon the sea so wide The disciples faced the stormy ride The waves splashed, the wings did roar They were scared like never before to sleep, you know. No! One more story. Please! One, one more story, please, please, Okay, okay. Have you all heard of the story of Jesus walking on the sea? <gasps> on the sea? Oh, yeah. It was yet another stormy night on the Sea of Galilee. Now, listen. Night by the water's edge Disciples sailed The stars were overhead Jesus wasn't there on land, he stayed In the boat they began to feel afraid Then a miracle, amazing sight Jesus walked on water to them that night Take courage, he said, don't fear the sea Have faith, dear Peter, come to me Peter stepped out so brave and chooses to trust Jesus. Am I right, Cousin Susie? Yes. He was fine once he trusted Jesus to take care of him. Shush, Mimi and Maya. Let Susie finish, please. Like Peter, we might lose our way. Life storms face fears each day. But with Jesus, 
Jesus by our side so near his love cast out all doubt and fear in the story we all can find a lesson that's gentle and kind with Jesus our worries can't abide in his love and presence we can hide so when the night is deep and dark and worries dry Is asleep already. That's all right. Girls, I've told you these stories for a reason. I want you to know that no matter how dark it gets or how alone you feel, trusting Jesus to take care of you will get rid of your fears. The storm is always calm with Jesus, the same Jesus that lives inside your heart. Do you understand, my lovelies? Yes, Susie. Good. Now, do you remember the first song we sang? Yes, 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 I do! Good. So I want you all to cover up with your duvets as I leave the room. Then keep singing it till you fall asleep. Will you do that for me? So when you stay And so Talia and her cousins learned that trusting Jesus is the way to be brave and say no to fear. Every long holiday, the families of Serenity Hill gather at the beach for a sandcastle building competition among the children. This year, Talia and her friends will be competing but they'll also be learning an important lesson. Okay, kids. Do you have your buckets? Very good. Shovels? Snacks? Juice? Water and paper napkins? Here! Yeah, I have some too. Well, it looks like somebody's very prepared. All right, kids. It's time for me to step back. I'll be right under that umbrella watching you all, okay? Okay, okay, okay let's go, go. Go, Team Abba. Go, go Team Abba. All right, kids, we'll begin soon. First, do not go near the water. Keep close to where you've been placed. If you see someone wander off close to the water, tell one of the lifeguards. You all have 45 minutes to complete your sand castles. Your time starts now. Oh, this is so much fun. I didn't think it was going to be this fun playing with sand, but now I'm so happy I came. I knew it was going to be so much fun. I'm so happy I'm old enough to compete this year. So, so happy. It's my first time too, and sometimes I'm a bit scared to try new things, but it always works out great. That's right. Sometimes I wish Nchedo wasn't a tiny little baby so he could do all this fun stuff with us. Aw, I know how it feels. I used to feel that way when Nito was much smaller. Soon you'll be able to do lots of fun stuff with Nintendo. I can't wait! So guys, we need to make a solid base for our sand castle first. And then we can build all the towers on top of that. But our base must be strong and thick first. True. So how many buckets do you think we'll need for the base? As many as possible. Let's just keep bringing and adding it to what we already have formed. Let's go guys! Chop chop! Oh no, what do we do? We have to build again. Yes, let's go again. You're right guys, we don't have that much time. Let's start over. There we have it. Our foundation is done. Isn't it beautiful? 
It sure is. I can't wait for my dad to see it when we're done. Sandcastle are you building? Sandcastle? You mean mud castle? <laughs> Leave us alone. You're not going to make it. We don't even have enough time left. Says who? Says us. Hey, that's not very nice. If we don't call on Abba right now, I'm going to cry. Quick, everyone, let's call on Abba. Hello, Abba. We need your help. We want to win this contest, but even more, we want to be able to make a sandcastle we can be proud of. But we can't because of the waves. And there are some other children making things worse. Please help us, Abba. Amen. 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 Well, well. What's going on, guys? Daddy, the waves keep spoiling everything. Oh, so look at you that Jim of our make things worse. I feel like giving up. Giving up? No, kids, that shouldn't be your response. Can I tell you all a story of a man who built and rebuilt again until he was successful? Yes! Long ago in days of old, a tale of this man must be told. Nehemiah got news that was so sad, Jerusalem walls had broken down bad. Nehemiah, a heart so bold, he sought the king for help untold. Thankfully, the gracious king sent him with power and precious things. Nehemiah, a mission clear to Jerusalem, he drew near with faith in God. His journey starts to rebuild the walls, mend broken parts. Nehemiah, with Vision bright, the people joined Day and night with shields and swords They took a stand Rebuilding walls, a united band Trials came, they faced a test Enemies taunted, they did their best But Nehemiah's fate stood tall God's protection, a fortified wall As they worked with sweat and toil The enemies planned to foil With sword in hand, they worked as one Rebuilding the walls, God's will was done Nehemiah, through trial and fight he led with strength through day and night With God as their guide they pressed on Until the walls were fully drawn Trials came, they faced the test Enemies taunted, they did their best But Nehemiah's fate stood tall God's protection, a fortified wall Trials came, they faced the test Enemies taunted, they did their best But Nehemiah's face to tall God's protection, a fortified wall So let us learn from Nehemiah's quest In times of trial, we do our best With faith in God, we face each strife We're building sandcastles, rebuilding life So kids, what have you learned? Daddy, I learned that we shouldn't give up Even when things are hard Me too! I also learned that it's good to pray and call on Abba, just like Nehemiah did. He helps us when things are hard. Yes, Nehemiah and the builders had it hard, but they prayed and they never gave up. Yes, just like them, we should always stay committed to our goals. That's right, kids. Now I suggest you move all your things back a little. You just may be building too close to the water, and even though that's easier for you to make your mold, it also makes it more likely for the waves to wash upon your work. Oh, that makes sense, Daddy. So, I'll step back now. Let me know if you need anything. In the meantime, you have to move fast. Encouraging our hearts go rise and play Name as wisdom lights our way But we'll with purpose we'll rise up Go to Abba we won't give up We'll build it high, strong and bold There may be problems but we'll never fold In the sand our castle will stand We're united hand in hand The winds may crash, the winds may blow But our perseverance will always show We'll keep going Give way, the determination will conquer the day. Okay, kids, time is up. Now, I need all teams to step aside from their creations. I will check each one and give scores individually. Then, we'll add all these scores and announce a winner. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I hope we win. I hope so too, Talia. But whether we win or not, 
We've all learned a valuable lesson, haven't we? I sure have! Yes. Neymar's story has taught me that when you want something, you ought to keep trying until you succeed. Yeah! We try new ways, we try harder, but we never give up. All right. We have our winners. Our winner for this year's Sandcastle Building Contest is... Team Abba! And so Talia and her friends learned the value of persistence. All right, children, I hope you learned a lot. It's now time for my favorite part of the show. Abba's Affirmation Song! That's right! Now sing along. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am loved by God. I am loved by God. I am brave and strong. I am brave and strong. I am God's masterpiece. I am God's masterpiece. I am kind to others. I am kind to others. God hears me when I call. God has great plans for me. God is always with me. All right, children. Don't forget today's lesson. Find your mom or dad and tell them this. I won't give up. I'll always work hard for what I want. Goodbye for now and remember, when in doubt, call Abba! Abba.